welcome to the ski No, you lesson. need to do it like it's 2013. Okay, ready? We're starting again. Hello and welcome to the skating lesson. I'm Jennifer Kirk. And I'm Dave Lee. Oh, he nailed that. Nailed too. it. <laughs> so we are live. We're in Milwaukee at Skate America. We spent the day watching the practices. We have so much to talk about. Dave was down filming everybody. We have interviews that I'm going to edit and post tonight and tomorrow. But let's start with the men because we came in for the second of the men's practice. I caught a little bit of the first practice with the men. Mm -hmm. What were your overall thoughts? We saw the U.S. men. So everyone, we need to get it out of the way that Jenny is high maintenance. So during um, w during the men, we don't have videos of Shoma Uno or Dennis because I was running to get her coffee and then running to get her water and then running to get other things. So that is why that happened. Um, but I have thoughts on them that I can share. Yeah. After you so, share the other so Jenny, part. tell us about the first group of men because to, honestly, I don't know how any of them did. Well, we you missed part of the first group of men because mm -hmm. you were late. Um, but I was able I, to see. Not by my own doing. I'm with two gay men here that are a little um, special, where you have to like scream at them to get them going, even to come here for this. Okay. I was yelling at Justin for about 20 minutes in the bathroom because we needed to go. Okay, so. so let's talk about Shoma Uno. So he looked pretty good. He still has that thing, you guys, where he lands his jumps and he's way open to the left side. Um, missed a quad toe when I first walked in. Did some nice triple axles. Of all the men, though, he seems the strongest. He's my pick. You guys do fantasy yet. He's my pick to win. Um, just the overall skating, the way he moves, is really, really strong. Dennis, conversely, in his run-through, had some problems. Um, the two quads, he wasn't able to land any of them. Interesting, the first axle he missed, and then the second axle, when he was, like, relaxed and not really skating that fast, not really thinking about it, it seemed, was much better. Um, he just doesn't seem like he's ready, like he's had enough training time. That was the biggest thing. But he could come in for an upset. I don't predict that he'll put it all together, though, to win this week. Um, Dennis, it's interesting. Uh, Brian saw Dennis practice yesterday at his rink. The one thing about Dennis is that when we were in L.A., he was still nervous enough that he wasn't jumping in front of us. So to me, that told me everything we needed to know about Dennis. He's always having those boot problems. The other skaters in the rink think that they're half real, half in his head. Uh, keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. Uh, I think that they get kind of mad at him, then he comes back and magically lands everything, and they don't, kind of don't know. So he's now landing everything, but it's not consistent. Yeah, it just doesn't program. seem like he just he's hasn't done a lot of run -throughs. Yeah, to train yeah. the program together. So I think it's going to be a rocky thing for Dennis. Like, we might bite our nails and get through a short, but... The law, I think, will be... Highs and lows. Yeah, highs and lows. What did you think, Dave? Because the one thing that stood out to me about the U.S. men, and I tweeted this, you guys, is that they were the only ones who did their... Of anybody who did their whole program. Oh, Peter Murray is Team U this week. Because he still oh. thinks I'm evil. He will always be Team Jenny. Okay. Well, thank you, Peter. But um, they did mm -hmm. spins, Dave. When they missed something, they got up, they kept going. I thought that was really impressive. The American men trained, I think, the way that we would like to see people train. Yeah. And other people, I really... I'm done with. Yeah, some of the laziness here. Jumps, though, were a struggle. Max, he seemed off on his quad today. We talked to him after, and he said that he was getting used to the ice and stuff, but it seems like it was maybe something a little bit more than that because this is problems that we've seen throughout the season. They've added some, like, really sharp arms to his He long. does seem to be focusing more... Like, his skating looked less offensive <laughs> when we were in person. Like, he really was trying to... The edges aren't deep, but they're at least clean for mm -hmm. most part. It wasn't as jerky or as choppy. I wouldn't say that his edge quality is good, but it's not horrible. So it's working at this point. They're really trying to work on his lines. Um, but then he missed the quad sow later on in the program. The videos are 90 seconds because... Um, USFS, you can only have 90 seconds per broadcast of jump footage. So, And somebody asked if Dennis did a full program. He did kind of like the first half, and then he left out a span here or there. So it wasn't a big, long, cohesive program like the mm -hmm. U.S. men. But I thought Jason had some issues with the triple axel. It seems like he and Max are basically progressing the way that we thought. Mm -hmm. I think one of them could sneak in for a medal, probably Jason, just because everything else in his skating is so good. But I think they're going to be around third and fourth, yeah. but I think that Jason could do a little bit better. The thing about Jason is that his he kind of is slow to start the season. I think everything is starting to click with him. Is it going to? I think his second Grand Prix will be better than his first. But just talking to his coaches and talking to everyone, they're. You know, he just got a clean quad for the first time three weeks ago. So right. it's really, I don't expect it to be clean here. I think that would be really um, lucky. I think it looked too. better in his foot. It did look better. He missed the second triple axel. He did a clean one afterwards that looked good. 
I think he'll do a good long here. He looked to be fighting. You know, some of the jumps were a little off, and he fought through it. He doesn't look to be visibly as nervous as some of the ladies did during practice. So overall impressions of men, one thing that stood out to you, what would it be? You know what? I thought that Max and Jason look well-trained. I don't expect either one of them to win. I think that it's going to be one of the men from the first session, and... I mean, Hanyan did no jumps in his program. He was not. Even outside of the program, yeah. he was pretty inconsistent, guys. Uh, but at the same time, his edges look strong and in person. And he's somebody who can always pull it together, at least for a short program. And then we saw, like, last year at Worlds, it was so oh, up and down. I was down filming, but I wanted to message you when, like, Menshaw was like, going like this. Oh, Menshaw! Oh, my I God. I need to talk about my man, Menshaw. So his hair is as blonde as mine. Mm -hmm. um, he gets really into the program. I didn't really see any jumps. He mm. wasn't doing... I didn't see any quads or anything. Maybe he was just getting used to the ice, but he's somebody else who could sneak in for a medal if some of the Ion didn't jump were. much either. No. Um, the Russian men not looking that sharp. I mean, it was just hardly, there wasn't a lot of practicing going on at one point. We were standing during the men's practice, like, is anyone going to do something? And it wasn't until uh, the American men did their programs. Ross, still the problems with the quad cell, still the problems with the triple axling, looked to be pretty tight on his. Uh, Triple Lutz combination, just yeah. not bending his leg before he took off. So and that was a little. We and Lazy, we didn't. I didn't see Jason land any quads. They look better, but I didn't mm -hmm. see him land any. Let's move on to the pairs. Mm -hmm. Stolbov and Klimov and Sweeney Han, definitely the two front runners heading into the event. And then you have Alexa and Chris throwing mm -hmm. them into the mix. They're doing three triples, just side by side triples in their long program. Stolbov and Klimov, how do they look to you? Interesting. So, so Bob and Klimov, I thought, have looked kind of rough this year to start. They don't look as sharp as they did last year. I know that they've had real issues with the twist and trying to get it clean because the judges are more strict with that. Uh, one thing that I thought with still Bova and Klimov today is that they did nothing in practice. To be honest, they did nothing. Yeah, their uh, run through, I don't, I didn't they see. They did, just skated around in circles, you guys. They didn't even. They had do like it. some cool choreographic moments, and to be honest, he looks like a nice guy and. There's no euphemism uh, for her. Uh, and apparently they were on um, a plane with a uh, big skating fan, Audrey Pellegrini. Oh, I saw her status up here. Yeah, yeah, she said it was the same thing. Their coach was nice. He was nice. and she she was, We really she, need to interview her. We're yeah, really she was the way that Megan Duhamel has kind of always told us. And she has this like small dog that tries to like go up to people in the locker room. And then she like, snaps and grabs that dog away. Like if Belle was going up to talk oh, to Sasha Cohen. That's so sweet though. Um, yeah, so they did not, oh, I didn't even see any jumps, or we mm -hmm. missed half their practice, but it didn't seem like a, someone asked about, we, we, we saw some of his practice, yeah, they just didn't, didn't do, anything. do anything. Someone asked about Mira, Dan, really quickly, um, I didn't catch him doing a lot, maybe I just wasn't really watching for it, he was in the first practice, so we didn't see a lot of it. But there wasn't really anything super impressive in the first practice. Yeah, he didn't stand out or, or anything like that. And the Americans all had the good practice order where the Americans went in the second half of the second session. So they were able to, they were able to really warm up and do jumps and a lot of the other skaters early, but I think that's just... But Sui and Han, they impressed me terrifically. And I said this earlier before mm -hmm. the show officially started, but they have the best quad that I've seen. I mean, Megan's and Eric's is huge, but the way that they don't telegraph it, they just skate in and it's so long. It covers so much ice. Their side-by-sides look really on point. I think their throws look better than their side-by-side -side jumps. Mm -hmm. uh, their throws are just really smooth. They have a really good technique on the, on the throw. And then she has that. I really pay attention to her. Landing position ever since Alexa pointed it yeah, out to us. Yeah, she has like the, her the arms back there. and the bitch face and um, oh, it's everything. Um, they the side by side jumps I think are their weakness as a team, but mm -hmm. they were pretty strong here. And I think nailing those throws, doing Stoboba, and I love how like the skating fans will try to like correct you and they're like, no, they didn't do it. They did a triple, and I'm like, well, outside of the program, they did quads, and like this girl was yeah. trying to like. Just no, YouTube. she did a fantastic quad. We posted it on our YouTube. I mean, just even the way they carry themselves across the ice. But I was also really impressed with Alexa and Chris. They are trying the triple toe hop, triple toe sequence. He had a little bit of, that's, you said he was injured a little bit, or that's... Chris had a little bit of a thing with his knee. Uh, also, his grandfather just passed away, so I know that they missed training on Monday and Tuesday, and they've been, like, flying to different places, so... I think it was a little bit of a distraction, but they're going for... Thank you. I know my roots look good. How are Gracie's today? Oh, so Gracie... Oh, my thing is, Gracie got her hair done. She yeah. had it up in prom hair. She looked I didn't like good. the prom hair, but I, like, I thought the hair looked better. But <laughs> you can't go wrong with prom hair. Um, back to Paris, though. Back to Paris. Uh, 
Lex and Chris, I thought that they looked good. Uh, she turned out of the throw uh, flip at the end of the program, but then they did it afterwards. Um, Jenny doesn't like that they don't do a full program. They don't do the spins. She was not having that. Yeah, but, we'd ask them about that. In, in, our, interview. in our interview, we'll post it probably in the morning. But, um, yeah, they don't want to reveal everything they say, a.k.a. they needed a rest because when you go out to compete sometimes in, or you're mm -hmm. doing your program in a competition, you don't want to put it all out there the first time because you don't want to fall and exhaust yourself. But I thought they looked... I just love that like she and Tara with an H have always been friends, but you can tell like that's kind of changing because Tara with an H like wants to beat Alexa, even though Alexa's always been a step ahead. And now, like, they don't seem as friendly. They looked like warring fake blondes out there. And it was, like, you could kind they of feel like it. They look like sisters, you guys. They look, they definitely But they were competitive in that same. practice today. Yeah. But I would say that Alexa had the much better run through. Yeah, and I think Alexa just, she and Chris have this kind of X factor this season. And hopefully you'll see it in their programs where they're owning. I feel like they're kind of owning who they are. They're owning their skin a bit more. And it seems like Tara and Danny are still trying to prove themselves or find themselves. It just seems like winning nationals last year solidified something in Alexa's mind where she thinks we belong here. Like we're here they to They do less and per practice. Like they do their elements, but they're not like overworking themselves where... Tara and Danny, they did some great things in practice, some awful things. So I think yeah, they're, they're very hot and cold, and still the program I can't really get behind it. I was I was supportive that Streisand was you know going yeah, out. I like that she was singing, but I there's mm -hmm. no it's still like skating. They back didn't pick out that music not, at all. I mean no, that there's was, not a lot of feeling really connected to it. it. And I don't understand why he picked Phantom for them. I mean, it's fine. But. So why does he do that? Look, going back, I just saw this question about Jason. Why does he do that weird Axel entry? It's really hard. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe they'll be taking it out because he did miss that in his run through today. But like, going mm -hmm. in from that entrance, I mean, he's going to get a higher... I mean, they're trying. I think they're trying anything that'll work on Jason's triple yeah. Axel if we're right. keeping it real. I liked it. Any other thoughts on the pairs? Pairs? Um... It was pretty much those four looked... Julianne and Charlie, oh, yeah. again, missing lifts again, like in the program. Yeah, he put some... her down in a lift. Yeah. Um, again. A good side-by-side, -side, triple toe, double toe that I saw, but a very but then, hot and cold. But, but in the program, time. they did doubles. Um, yeah. I just thought that it's going to be an interesting Canadian Nationals. They look like they're going through something. So I don't think it's going to be... Um, Alexa looked mean and fabulous. She's not mean though, but I think, but I think she has, she's yeah. fierce and it works for their programs this season. She's kind of like a little bit stronger, but I, again, like I said to Dave earlier, I think they're kind of the pick for the surprise upset for a silver medal. I think they could put it together and she has to land those triple sal tomorrow. Well, I think that's so well been off not doing much here that they're a little yeah. afraid. I think that they're a little panicky. I mean, I didn't even really, like, notice the Elton John coach running around that much. Mm -hmm. Like, she was kind of... It seems like right they now. were phoning in a bit. But I missed the pairs, or the dance practice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't too sad in my mind that I missed it, uh, because I was doing some editing. So tell me about dance. Um, we saw the free dances. I thought that uh, Caitlin and John Luke looked much, much stronger than they did... Uh, no falling on a lift. No falling on a lift. They looked pretty right. smooth. Madison Chalk, I think, clearly... Okay. Uh, going to be the pick for the gold here. I don't so think she looks stressed. So they have a new stressed. short dance, right? It's their third short dance of the year. I didn't see it because they did their free dance today, and they have one practice in the arena. It looks solid. Their twizzles were solid. They looked pretty um, pretty strong for the Grand Prix. I think it's they're the clear winner here. Here. Um, Piper and Paul looked pretty solid. I picked um, them for second, guys. And I thought that... Um, the Russians, uh, Yankovskaya and uh, Moskov, they looked uh, strong. The dresses looked really nice. Yeah. Nice but they're, do, they're doing the Great Gatsby, the same like that everyone groaned last year, then like now Mariah and they're bringing it back. So. <laughs> Stuff to it. Let's discuss ladies, though, because this was, I think, really Oh, wait, they want to know about Fund and Santillan. Oh, people, you are so, like, yes, let's talk about every single person. Uh, they, I don't even know who that is. They were the Americans that replaced uh, Gretchen and Nate. Oh, they actually looked really good. Yeah, but you know what I noticed? Could work on their lift positions So, like, a bit. this good is so their sense. first Grand Prix, because, like, I noticed that when I was filming someone, they, like, ducked, and I was like, oh, honey, like, <laughs> this is the Grand Prix, I'm not at your rink, like, yeah. that's sweet, but, like, you cut me off. Like, if I'm filming, yeah, like, get in my skate. way, yeah, you skate. skate. And I they thought seem that... They yeah, nice kids. Um, is Evan, are Madison and Evan bringing the sizzle? Uh, yeah, but it was Always. practice. But Always. It was, I mean, she just, she brings it anyway. Um, what are the, uh, that's a mean question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let, yay for them. Okay, let's go to the ladies. So, Medvedeva, guys, she comes out, and Dave was in the restroom, so he missed this. So, everybody's skating around the practice. She literally, all of a sudden, you hear, 
Bam! Fed right into the boards, like huge puddles. She went like, it was like stomach first, right into the boards. We thought, she's done, she's out of it. And her no. coach, no, it was really bad. Her coach like held her and was holding her stomach and kind of like, the girl just, she's, she's really fierce. She's tough. She kind of just shook it all off and she was fine. And you have to watch her face. She had five triple toes in her long program. We'll talk about this in a second. But her face in between, watch her when she competes. She has, like, gritty face when she's going to take off for a jump. She's she my pick She was never second winner. fiddle to Lipnitskaya in her mind. Oh, mind-made. this like, girl is, like, she's... Notice that you never see photos of them together on Instagram either. Like, she is her Luann Donovan. Like, Lipnitskaya will be with Rydinova uh-huh. and Jukinish, but you never see the two of them no. together. No, and Lipnitskaya, she's Not so a, sunny in person. Not so sunny in person. And she's a tough one. If you were on practice with her, like, get out of her way. <laughs> and she does her jumps right up to the boards. Like, and they're so swingy still. Pretty good run through with the that, jumps. It was a miracle run through, but she doesn't look strong. She quits mid program. Yeah, she left out like huge chunks, huge, huge sections. chunks. But she got it together. But that double axle was actually really like it was more effed up in person. Yeah, she thought. jumps completely with her left arm in front. There's no. Um, but the two of them, I, I picked Vitova for a surprise winner. She did. She did five triple toes in her. Why did she do this, Dave? Because, well, one, it's a little, it's twofold. One, she was intimidating the hell out of the other girls in practice, like Arakawa did during the Olympics, where they have no intention of putting them all in. And also, it's good because if she misses uh, one of the combinations, she can always put it in later and has that. But she just kept doing triple toes. I mean... It was it was impressive, but it was like, in, with the arm over the head, but she looks really strong. Yeah. Lipnitskaya, I think if she puts it together, she could be a... Surprise on, I'm not, and you don't want to call her surprise on the podium, but. So Satoko Miyahara's jumps are not a uh, world quality in person. Um, that triple Lutz today was yeah, so all sorts of small and cheated. She and, gets yeah. really, ang- she's an anxious jumper, you guys. And mm-hmm. after the program, she went back, she missed the combination or short program run through. She went back and she did it like three or four times in a row. But both the Lutz and the flip in her short, she doesn't get to the top of her pick. So she kind of skims the ice in the air and then on the you never can really trust her takeoff but she's as like stoic mm-hmm. and perfect in practice she and her coach like they don't talk they don't do anything somebody's texting us pictures um <laughs> is it you it's, it's oh, someone yeah. 719 i think it was maybe ann johnson i don't know oh, that's i think it's a colorado number okay um but anyway she's very <laughs> focused in practice she's feeling the program she was the one woman who showed up with her full competition like she even had her hair piece in and she, she has some extra jumps, yeah. So Choco like, was in her Sunday best. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, the Sears, honey. Like, like it she was... never broke face. She was just so focused. I mean, just respect for that little one. She's a I think she'll do her. well here. It'll be... To me, she didn't look champion-ish, but she looked steady. Like, she'll be on the podium. Yeah. Uh, she'll have a that's, good... And that's always been her money thing, that she's so consistent. She's I think steady. one of the most impressive girls was really Miyu uh, Nakashio. We saw her mm-hmm. uh, last month when we were in Colorado. Um, when we had a lot of time at Corey Aid's rink because we lost our rental car keys. And, um, I still haven't found them either. We still have not. Um, <laughs> we asked her But that. Miyu is... She has this... She's got some spunk and some sizzle, and she has good air in her jumps. She seems to be very happy because she's having the monument Kool-Aid. I don't know. And she uh, she, she looked really yeah. strong today. She really lit up. Even though she's skating to Scheherazade, she still like lit up. Yeah, like yeah. she has. She gives face even in practice, mm-hmm. which is very impressive. Um, okay, so someone asked about Gracie. Let's discuss the U.S. ladies. So Gracie was fantastic outside of her run-through. I'm perfect practice. She was perfect, but I thought that Gracie looked tight. You know, it was like one of those things where... It was clean because you didn't make a mistake, but you looked like you were maybe going to have a bit of a moment. And yeah. maybe, like... Like, her confidence, it just seems like it's, it's since the Japan Open. She was so... She, like, I think that she needs Alex Arashev to come in. They need The mother needs <laughs> to pay him to piss her off, and that she needs to go out and skate, because that's what she's not getting from Frank Carroll. Like, I think, like, she's a skater who was pissed off for years by her old coach. Like, you would be with Evie. Yeah, yeah. and he can kind of get under your skin and make you... Mm. Oh, thank you. Just people are texting us, so I see it in our... our t- but um, it gets under your skin and it gets you going, and I mm. think she's so just... Frank is so calm, and so she tries to be so calm and controlled. But it's and, not her. But it's not her. Like, she's, she feeds off of chaos. She yeah. needs, and I think that's part of, during her interview, she talked about that Olympic season, all the 
stuff that was going on in her life, the moving, the this, the program. And I think that she's somebody who actually needs all of that going on because it keeps her mind busy. I feel like um, she's lost confidence since the Japan Definitely opened. lost confidence. And I think, again, this is another event where she's expected to win. And I feel like she's afraid to lose this event. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, she was skating well. The jumps did look good, but they were a little bit safe. You know, she doesn't have the same explosion that she had with Alex. They're trying to control it more. And she really... I think It was a good practice until the run-through. And then the second she put that hand down on the triple loop... I'm like, here goes the rest of the program. Yeah, you can and tell with her. It's like one mistake. And it was over a hand that. down. It was like, girl, this is not a big deal. But but I almost think it's good that she had a rough run through because she's somebody, she talked about it in the interview, that she can turn it on when she needs to. And so I think my she's going to come back for, for her the short. Is she'll have a bad short, good law. Oh, see, I see it opposite. I think she's going to come back tomorrow. She's going to be on. She's I almost win want her to make a mistake tomorrow because I think that if she makes a mistake... In the short, she'll kill it in the long and she can recover more points in the free rather than if she's first after the short and then worries that she's not ready and then we have like a world team trophy thing. But I don't see both programs being good here yet. She's going to take some more time to get ready this season emotionally and mentally and it's not anything physical because her training looks great. Yeah, she can do it and it's just putting it all together. The other U.S. women, Karen Chen, had a rough run through. Um, <laughs> did that make you laugh? <laughs> Karen Bless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was just not having a good practice. It seemed like things were really going in her favor. Um, great. Can I tell you the truth? I didn't even notice Karen Chen on that practice session until like, she <laughs> blended in. Yeah, and that's never a good thing on practice. It's never a good thing, too, when you're doing your program, and this didn't happen with Karen, it happened with someone else. And you, Oh, the Korean girl. Bless. And you, uh, the, the, Sonia Sonia Park. Park. And you're like... Hated her life. It was Jenny <laughs> skating the Beatles program. <laughs> And it was a lot of doubles and then just quitting. And, and usually the person who's doing their program, your eye is drawn to them. You want to watch them. And it was like I had to force myself to continue. I like would lose her in the crowd because she wasn't drawing you in. Back to Karen, though, some nice moments in her program. She's, she has the most gorgeous spiral. She's holding it for a long time. Um, did a nice triple S, triple toe outside of the program, but her jumps are not consistent. I do not expect... It reminds... It's like BB well Liang, like hot yeah. and cold and hot yeah, and cold. she won't... I mean, if she does well, I hope she does well, but I... I think don't pick her for your fantasy. think fifth or sixth, I think, is her best outlook here. But oh, I was going to say, that's generous. generous. Well, yeah, but all of the girls today were a little bit nervous in practice. Uh, I thought that Mariah Bell, some great things, and then some pops, and but then she's so happy, and it's just... Yeah, yeah Mariah, she's a... Like her sweet skating, girl, such really a like sweet her. girl, gorgeous skater, can do some gorgeous triple flip, triple toe in her Way too through. tall. Um, <laughs> her limbs are like... Nice triple loop. Yeah, but it seems like she doesn't have, and we talk about it before, like the tight core strength. It would almost be that she'd be a better ice dancer. It may fit it's, well, her personality she, her legs a bit are more. That long. Yeah, but I mean, she's she can put it all she's together. She's not enough to be an ice dancer. Yeah, but the thing is, if she could put it all together, the, the doors <laughs> are wide open. My pick, though, after watching practice today for the ladies, I think Gracie will get a medal. I Actually, I think for my surprise upset, I would say... Um, I want to call her Radionova. I just have my daughter on my I mind. think Medvedeva looks the Medvedeva sturdiest yeah. mentally of the ladies. Sotoku, Lipnitskaya, Medvedeva, and Gracie. So Medvedeva doesn't have the total package. Like she doesn't really perform yet. Like It's very mm -hmm. Russian choreography where she's doing steps and it's not like a whole program where she really projects. But she looks the most even keeled. And Sotoko looks even as well. But I think Gracie will have some highs and lows this weekend, but it will even out to be a decent uh, result overall. So overall, taking away from today... What was your moment of the day? I think moment of the day was the Paris practice session. Sui and Han just doing it right in the middle of Stobova's run through. <laughs> All the <laughs> throw quads. The, the, the two throw quads during that. It was really impressive. Uh, I thought that that was really the moment of the day. How about you? So Max Aaron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I still have a little crush on him, you guys. And the hot Two dad was here. He had nice, like, hot pink underwear on that you could mm. see when he was skating today. And then in his run-through, and all the guys were doing this that don't tuck their shirts in, look for the camel spins during practices because that shirt will come up and you will see a nice six-pack and it's just it's very pleasant to look at because then you don't notice his leg that maybe isn't quite at that good angle. But mm. um, that he was... <laughs> I don't he, said, he said he doesn't care if you don't pick him for your fantasy team. He won't lose sleep over it. <laughs> okay, then. No, you, you were there for the interview. Yeah, we'll post that interview. Yeah, he was like, I don't care if people don't like Oh, me. Elizabeth Terzenbaeva. Oh, oh, she was fantastic in her run-through, not good outside of the run-through. Like, she was struggling it's a lot outside. It's still a junior program. Her skating in person is junior. Mm -hmm. um, it's consistent, but it's she's a junior world medalist. 
Uh, yeah, she needs to own it. She it was a little dwarfed by some. And of the she other was scooters. so focused too on the jumps, and I thought it was almost like they were drilling it, and she didn't need to be because they were fine in the run through. Is Lipnitskaya landing her jumps this season? Surprisingly, today, yes, they were. I, I, I thought she was going to miss more than she did today. I was waiting for it. Yeah. All right, so we will wrap up this show. We we'll can stay on after and answer some questions, yeah. but I'm going to stop this so that we can post this on our mm -hmm. YouTube page. We will be at the event tomorrow. We'll be posting mm -hmm. all of our interviews throughout the night tomorrow as well, and then we will be tweeting and mm -hmm. doing all of that, doing recap show probably after the whole event. We haven't discussed Is that yet. Is Mariah mean in person? No. Nobody's mean in person. We had a great day. Everybody <laughs> That's was not fun. That's not true. Stobova is mean in person. I don't know. I've never talked to her. I don't even know where she lives. <laughs> you know you can get a vibe when yeah. they walk Yeah, by. she has like a scary vibe. Do you want to lead us out? So as always, we want to remind you that when Stobova is doing her run through, land a quad so hold an edge. And, and look sexy. sexy. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Alright, so I think